Hi hey everybody, it's John with Backyard Eden. Just thought I'd bring you a little, little vlog for Monday morning. Uh, I've got a couple of things to do around the garden. Uh, I've got a couple of things to do inside, so I thought I'd give you a look at that. Um, that's really all that's going on. I've got a couple little projects to do, so I thought I'd bring you along. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is always is uh, check on the pepper seedlings, make sure they're all watered and good to go. Um, so here's a look at them. I'll give you a I'll give you a closer look in the weekly pepper update. That'll probably come out Thursday. Um, but here's a look at them so far, and I gotta see about which one needs water. All right, so these over here look pretty good. Those have already been watered. Well. Yeah, those are okay. Some of them have been watered more recently than others. Um, but these over here are going to need water. So. So the pepper seedlings are watered. Uh, the ones in the cups all still look okay. Yeah, they just all look okay. All right, so that's done. Pepper seedlings have been checked on. They're watered. That's looking good. Go check outside to see how stuff looks. I may have to let the, it's actually kind of warming up. Um, it's actually kind of warming up here a little bit, not much. Uh, it's still cold at night, but I need to turn the irrigation on to let it water the raised beds. So I'm gonna do that now. Got some insulation on the spigot. Actually worked kind of well. It's just a drop cloth with some pipe insulation. Don't put it on there permanently because like right now I have to water. So I've got my irrigation. Set up. Water's on. We'll turn it on manual. Let it water for about 30 minutes. Um, most of the stuff's pretty well dead. Um, I haven't actually done a lot of that garden cleanup yet. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Wrong, wrong irrigation zone. <laughs> My bad. That's. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just got sprayed. Um, wrong irrigation zone. Should have thought that through. Um, all right, let's try it again. That that was my containers, uh, and my herbs, and me. <laughs> Get it switched over to the main beds. That'll wake you up. Cold water hitting you in the face. That'll wake you up. All right, so irrigation's turned on. Uh, some of the stuff out here is doing okay. Strawberries are doing okay. Uh, let me give you a look at them. They're not. I just have a few right here in these pots. Uh, I wanted to put in more. I got to do some. Uh, probably in the next day or two, I got to change that pot out. It's starting to break. 
gets brittle after a few after a couple of years. Um, I wanted to put more out, but that's really all I got in, in strawberries. Um, the herbs, I got my sage is doing pretty good, so some of it's doing okay. Got rosemary over there. Um, but most everything is ready to just be cleaned up so we can start fresh. Uh, that'll be coming up in a little update video as well. Uh, kind of walk around the garden, make sure none of the none of the sprinkler heads. See, I have drip irrigation, but I don't have drip running throughout the whole system. I have what's called a little vortex sprinkler head. It's a mini sprinkler that you run to to your line, and you stake that in your bed. So then it sprays out in you know like a five or so foot pattern, circular pattern. So I've got three in each in each bed. Each bed's three by eight. So I have three sprinkler heads in each bed, so it covers it pretty well. Um, looks like everything's okay. Um, like I said, it's really just garden cleanup time. I'll give you kind of a quick look. Uh, here's my pepper bed. Um, it got overtaken with weeds. Um, I had the hoops up, but I didn't cover it with plastic. I just let them die out. Um, I was gonna let I was gonna cover them, and then I didn't. Just changed my mind. Uh, none of the peppers in there really, I mean, they produce pretty good, but nothing just outstanding, so I just let them die. Um, my Thai basil volunteers over in the corner, I let those all die out. I'm sure I'll have a ton of seedlings next year. Um, but yeah, greenhouse is still doing okay. Um, getting ready to load it up with seedlings for spring. So, and yes, we do have tetherball now. Uh, daughter's Christmas gift so she loves tetherball I can't explain it I'm not real sure that I liked it when I was growing up so one other little quick thing I've decided that where I grew the loofahs and you can actually still see them hanging right here <laughs> uh, gotta clean this up there's a lot of a lot of these are immature so I don't know how the seeds will be but I already saved a ton of seeds um, I think I saved like I don't know, 10 loofahs worth of seeds. It's crazy, I have tons of seeds. Uh, if you want some seeds, just hit me up in the comment section below, I'll send you some. Um, but where I grew these this year, if you can see, this is an old swing. I explained it in my loofah video. If you haven't seen it, uh, I'll put it right there. Um, but it's an old swing. We had a bench style seat right here. Um, the seat kind of apparatus broke. Um, just one day it just broke. Um, I wasn't on it. Ha! I saw you thinking that. Um, so it just broke, so we decided to leave the frame out here. We put up some 2x4 uh, welded wire uh, fencing, and so it's actually up, up one side, it's up this side right here, and over. And so what I've decided is where I grew these loofahs at, this is where I'll be growing some squash. Um, and maybe even some cucumbers. Um, so I'm, I you know, kind of decided, kind of not. I am going to grow trombone squash. Uh, it's a vining variety. Uh, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a, I'll put it in the description. It's too hard to say. Um, so, but I'm also going to build some trellises out of some cattle panels. So that'll be in an upcoming video. Um, so everything looks okay out here. That's pretty much it. Now I'm off. I got a little building project. Um, I'm building a soil screen. Ooh, shadow. Wow, shadow. So I'm building a soil screener so that I can screen out my compost, so I can screen out my potting mix uh, when I have to buy it. Um, so that's, um, that's up next. I would always recommend wearing eye protection I come with built-in, of course, but make sure you have your safety wear, goggles, gloves, whatever you need to do your job, make sure you have it before you start.
All right, guys, so that's it. I'm done with my DIY soil screener, compost screener. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be useful and it has to work. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get an email when whenever we put out new videos. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Um, if you haven't checked out our social media, go ahead and do that now. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Give us a like over there. And if you haven't checked out our website, go to www.backyard-eden.com. And as always, this is John. Have a great day. Hey, you made it to the end. Awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right below this video. And please, if you enjoyed it, share with your friends. And I hope that you will come back and continue to watch our content and also have a awesome day.